Welcome back guys, and I'm sure you're just as excited as me about the new update, which means two things. It means we get some awesome new stuff, and I get to do all the videos to cover all the good stuff that we got. So, this first tutorial is to show you the template we will be using in the next few tutorials about traits and the AI that use them. This, uh, this video is just going to show you how to set it up and what's involved and this will be required for all of the following tutorials because the way I did it was using this tutorial as a base allowed me to make the tutorials involving these traits just a couple minutes long at the most. It made it a lot simpler and a lot easier to follow along. So by doing it this way, um, I shortened uh, the whole process and made it more simple for everybody. So. Let's get right into it and see what we've come up with. Okay, so to kick things off, this is a quick one. It's just explaining the setup so that way we can use it in other videos later and you can kind of keep up without having to redo things so many times. So to start, we're going to use Events AI and we're going to use On Squad Spawner Squad Label. My AI spawner has Alpha as its squad, so that's what we're going to pick here. And you just pick whichever one your AI has that you want to apply the traits to. So next we're going to go to logic and for each object. Plug it in just like this. Let's go to AI at the very top and use get AI units from squad. And just plug the squad from our event into the squad input of that node and the AI units into the objects of the for each object node. Awesome. We're almost done. <laughs> So now we go to our uh, traits because that's what we're going to be trying to apply. Now it caught me off guard at first. Um, these are all traits you can apply, sure. But how do you apply them? Well, th because you can go back to the traits tab, the actual traits category, and that's where these are uh, going to be located. Execute per object on apply trait set and current object goes to unit. Go ahead and change that to uh, true on apply immediately. And the identifier needs to match this. You'll need to declare the trait set. Um, in this case, we're going to just name it HP because the next tutorial I will be doing covers HP. That is weird that it has a black box. Will this work? There we go. That's, that's better. I don't know why it glitched out. Anyway, so you'll want to make sure that these identifiers match. Just like that. And then you would, all you would need to do is take your trait from here, plug it into here, and you're gold. So that's how you set up how to get traits onto um, your AI as soon as they spawn. This is a basic way to make sure that as soon as the AI spawn, the AI that you want have the traits that you want. And this is the, uh, this is the template that we'll be using in all of my upcoming videos about traits on AI. And that's all it really took, just five nodes. Um, pretty easy. The uh, thing about it is I won't be including this as a prefab in the description um, for one reason. It's because all of the tutorials that are going to be following up with this are using this exact same template anyway. So the only difference in this and those videos is the trait you would be watching the video for is included, which is one single node. And it's going to have its own prefab, so you won't need this one as you can just get it from one of those videos, the one you're actually watching to find out you know, how to set it up and the explanation and so on. So the next uh, series of tutorials involving traits are going to be a lot of that. And uh, I'll take the time to explain what they do. So that way you kind of get an understanding of how everything works. But with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.